Okay, for today's assignment, you are going to take the sloth drawing that you made last week and outline all of your pencil lines with Sharpie, as you can see that I've done with mine. We're going to focus on the face today, so with your Sharpie or any black marker that you have, we're going to color in the eyes and make those solid, and then you can see where I've started using that thicker Sharpie to add some um, hair texture lines along my sloth. So I've done some darker areas up here around the eyebrow areas. I've done some darker space down under the eyes with lines. And then over on this side, I'm doing kind of the same thing along the cheeks, um, just doing darker line strokes with my Sharpie. So it looks like my sloth has fur. And giving it some shaded shadow areas. Okay, so you're gonna fill in those spaces with the black Sharpie or whatever marker you have. Um, remember, the closer you put those lines together, the darker it's going to appear. Okay. Then I also have a thin black marker or a thin Sharpie, and I'm going to go in and add some thinner lines as well. So up here on top of the eye, I'm just going to do some smaller Sharpie lines. And then the same thing on the underside. Remember, the farther apart you put those lines, the lighter your texture and shading is going to look. The closer you put them, the darker it's going to look. So if you have two different sizes of marker, a thin black marker and a thick black marker, that usually works the best. Okay, up above his um, nose area, there's going to be some white fur, so I'm just going to use that thin Sharpie and draw some lines around, but leave a white space so it looks he, like he has some white fur above the eye. Okay, then I'm going to do those lines kind of thin until they come up and match up with the hairline up here where the thicker black Sharpie was. So once again, I'm just filling all of that in with little black line strokes using my thin marker. If you don't have a black marker at home, you can always use a black ink pen. That would be fine too. So I've just connected that hair or fur all the way down to the nose space and then I'm going to fill that in with more fur lines as well. Remember the farther apart you put those lines the lighter it's going to appear and then the closer together you put them the darker it will appear. So like right here I'm putting them pretty close together so it looks like I have kind of a darker line or darker area for the fur. And it doesn't matter how long the line strokes are, they can be short or they can be longer. And then we're just going to continue to fill that space in to the other side of the sloth's nose. Alright, so after you get the nose space filled in, you're just going to circle around the eye, leaving a white border. Um, kind of like what we did on the right hand side but you'll do the same on the left hand side. So I'm just doing some longer line strokes around the eye and then remember once again if you want it to look darker you put your lines closer together and then as I, I'm going to do that around the edge so it looks like there's a darker shadowed edge by the side of the head and then I'm going to bring those line strokes up towards the top of the head but spacing them out a little bit farther so that it looks like the fur is a little bit lighter colored. And that should make your sloth look like it has a lot of texture to it. Okay, so 
can kind of check it out, see where there's any places that you might need to add more, if it looks like it needs to be darker or lighter anywhere. Um, I kind of feel like around the top of the nose, I'm going to go back and do some lines that are closer together, just so it looks a little bit darker at the top of the nose area. Just cleaning up those lines just a little bit. And once again, I'm just making teeny tiny little line strokes. Like that. So I want to do um, some shadowing effect on the snout as well. So inside the nostrils, I'm just going to do dots this time. So I'm not doing line strokes, I'm just doing dots. And I want them to be pretty close together around the outer edge. And then when I work towards the center, they're going to get farther apart so that it looks a little bit lighter in there. So darker around the edges with a lot of the dots and then lighter as you get towards the center. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So my dots are going to be really close together on the outside of the nostril. But then my, light, my dots will get farther apart on the inside to give it some highlight. So it looks like there's almost more white showing through once you get to the center of the nostril. Okay, and then I'm going to go darker again right here by the edges that connect. Okay, and once again, I just used dots to connect those. I didn't make line strokes this time. It was just dots. Um, same thing on the inside of the nose. So these are going to be dots again, not line strokes. The closer you put them together, the darker it's going to look. And the farther apart the dots are, the lighter it's going to look. So I'm going to go pretty dark down here by the mouth. So I'm putting my dots closer together. And then as I come up towards the top of the nose, I want those dots to be farther apart where more of the white paper background shows through. And that will just give you a shaded effect for the nose of the sloth. All right, so once you've filled in all of the nose space with the dots, Notice that I left some white in there for highlight. Then we're going to come over to the left side under the eye, and you're just going to go back to doing line strokes and adding texture for the sloth's hair down the side of his neck. And once again, the closer the lines are together, the darker your shading is going to be. The farther apart the lines are, the lighter the shading is going to be. So under the chin, I'm going to go with lines closer together just so it looks like it's a little bit darker. And then I'm going to fade those out as I get farther out on the neck. And you'll notice that my line strokes are not the same size. It's okay to have some shorter ones and some longer ones in there. Okay, now I want most of the mouth area to look like it is white, but I don't want it to be quite so stark, so I'm going to um, do some smaller line strokes in there for the hair, um, but those line strokes are going to be farther apart. So down around the lip area, I'm just going to do kind of a line or a curve of lines that form the mouth. And those are closer together, and those are going to appear to be a little bit darker. And then as I come down the chin, I'm going to lighten those up by putting the lines a little farther apart. You can even change direction of your lines a little bit so it looks like the hair is going in different angles. Once again, we want it to be fairly light, so keep those lines not, not touching each other.
And on the edges, I'm going to go with the lines a little bit closer together to show some shadow around the mouth. Alright, so once you've used your line strokes around the mouth, you're just going to continue those up along the eyes just to do a few little shadowed areas along the white that circles the eyes. And then you'll be at a stopping point for today. So you're only going to do the shading and texture on the sloth's head, and then tomorrow we'll continue that throughout the rest of the sloth's body.